Hey, what's up? My name is Cliff. This is my channel, Cliff's Items. And you're watching another MBTI video today. You don't say. Sometimes I think I can rap in my intro, if I may say. I want to make some clay animation. But I don't even have my own art station at home. It's something to do with cones restricting me from being able to get into the area that I need to in my home. I'm scared off by the lawn gnome outside my door. He looks very scary. And his beard is very hairy. Okay, so we're gonna talk about being an INFJ today and how, no, I'm the, wait, hold on. Today we're gonna talk about ENFPs and my opinion of them as an INFJ in under 10 minutes. So ENFPs are the types that I see the most being drawn to me, I think. Um, I think similarly the EN ENTPs as well. There's always for me an instant connection that I can make with ENFPs for some reason or another. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but we know in MBTI, it's the way our cognitive functions work and um, the chemistry is instantaneous. A lot of my best friends in uh, growing up were ENFP types and we just get along very quickly, very seamlessly. Our sense of humor usually is very, very similar. It doesn't really take much for us to become very good friends. I remember my very first best friend in childhood was an ENFP as, as far as I know. And it seems very obvious be, uh, just knowing how he was when I was friends with him. Yeah, we get along very quickly and um, things are usually pretty fine and dandy when we hang out. Uh, the only issue I think when it comes to the INFJ ENFP relationship for me has been, um, and I'm talking mostly uh, the dudes because I never really was close. I mean, I had friends, female friends that were ENFPs, but I wasn't, I never had a romantic relationship with one. So I think there might be a difference there. But as far as an INFJ male, my perception of ENFP, both males and females, uh, the issue when it comes to the relationship is that um, ENFPs tend to really, really, um, I think they have a deeper meaning to their friendship with us than we have than vice versa i think this can happen very easily as i think enfps are i think immensely more passionate than infjs are not saying infjs are passion aren't passionate people we very much are but i think enfps have tremendous amount of passion and when it comes to a personal relationship I think INFJs are not as, we are, we're not as warm as our ENFP counterparts. And I find this to be um, something that happens quite a bit. Um, not saying this is the same for all ENFPs, but I do generally feel that that might be the case as I think ENFPs get closer to uh, INFJs than, than, INF, than vice versa. But maybe that's different, maybe that's just me. Um, I do know that ENFPs, as they get older, um, the older ENFPs, uh, I think they become a bit more, sin not sinister, I was about to say sinister, I think ENFPs become more cynical in nature. And um, I'm not sure why that happens because I feel like ENFPs when very young are some of the most inspiring, most passionate, most, uh, social butterfly type people that I know. But I think the reality of the world sort of dampens all of that rainbow and uh, all that, all those rainbows and, and um, energy, but maybe not. Maybe I just been seeing uh, a different side of ENFPs, but I have noticed that that, that kind of dwindles away and that could be kind of troubles, troublesome for 
an aging INFJ, that also gets cynical and um, that also loses a bit of that innocence. But I think INFJs, we, we still need that overwhelming amount of just energy and uh, positivity that I think ENFPs don't really provide as they get older. And this may be different. Maybe the ENFPs that I've encountered were in a working in a work situation, but you know, if they have a little bit of a of alcohol or have a bit some some just you know, they're just in a social situation that may change again. But um, I do feel like they're to, for me at least. I just feel there's a bit of a disconnect because they have that introverted feeling, and um, they won't really regard. I don't feel like my personal needs and my personal wants. And that's just not a really a focus, I don't think, necessarily for ENFPs. ENFPs, correct me if I'm wrong, I just get that general sense. But um, it doesn't mean that I still can't be friends with ENFPs. I do feel like, for me personally though, I do feel like ENTPs are a better match for me personally just because I find there is an equal amount of exchange, whereas an ENFP, that's it's kind of unpredictable. There is a bit of an unpredictability, I feel like, when it comes to ENFPs that I just personally find, um, and maybe other INFJs also find uh, a little bit off-putting. I think ENFPs overall, though, are really some of the most inspiring people, I think, I have been inspired by a lot of ENFPs. I remember when I was in high school, I knew one that was always the life, the center of attention, just so much energy and so humorous and 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 just a positive energy that I, it inspired me thinking, wow, like I could also be that in some way, in some shape or form, I can also be like that. I can be just as free. I can ju be just as carefree and 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 just a free spirit, just like an ENFP. I feel that I I think that that is what makes an ENFP and INFJ relationship work. If it does, is when an ENFP just is such a force of energy that gives INFJs the courage to break out of their shell and to also reveal that same side of them. Because INFJs, when very comfortable, are very, very ENFP-like. Uh, if, if, you, if you haven't known an INFJ personally in a, in a very close way, you'll find that when an INFJ is very close to you, uh, I personally am just always wanting to crack jokes, wanting to make people laugh and wanting to make you laugh. It's it's something that I just really naturally comes to me when I'm free and I I just constantly want to crack jokes. That's kind of like who I am personally. And I think ENFPs are very much uh they expose that part of themselves very easily uh, that and it requires that amount of energy for an INJ really to also expose that part of themselves. I think the same goes for INFPs and INTJs, very much jokesters, very much people that love to laugh and have fun. And I think this, I mean, maybe this goes for every single type, but I know some introverts that are just, they don't ever really get to that mode, but I, I, I'm maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I All I can say is that as, as introverted as I am, or as a lot of INFJs are, I think it, ENFPs really bring that side of them out and they bring it out in the right way. Whereas like another type of extrovert, they won't necessarily bring that side out of me because I don't really relate to how they're presenting themselves or how they are going about becoming being an extrovert. Like an ENFJ is very much uh, more of an organizer and they're able to organize a social situation on the spot and INFJs we do similar things but that's not what we enjoy we I, I think more an INFJ would enjoy more so the idea of breaking out of their shell to be a jokester or to be kind of a class clown a little bit 
as I, I have found myself when I was younger, I was with, when I was around my ENFP friend, I, I became the class clown. I, I like to make crack jokes and really just have fun. And I think ENFPs really do that. ENTPs do the same thing, but I think ENFPs really uh, are more of, uh, of the just carefree class clown uh, energy that, that, uh, that I think uh, INFJs feed off of. Not saying that ENTPs can't do the same, but I think ENTPs are more of the, uh, I mean, they are known as the debaters, I think, in some uh, MBTI websites. And I think they really bring out a side of INFJs that really challenge others rather than uh, make people laugh or et cetera. <laughs> and I wanna remind everyone who's watching this video I could be wrong about every single thing. This is just my personal opinion and my personal anecdotal experience with ENPs. I um, I have no way a psychologist or a, an expert in psychology or personality science. I'm just a person with an opinion. I'm not licensed to uh, to tell anybody what their personality type or is or what their so, uh, psychology the the or, or educate people on the the science of their psychology. I'm just a person with uh, with an opinion. All right, that's my thoughts on ENFPs. What do you think? Let me know what you think about ENFPs. INFJs, let me know what you think. And ENFPs, let me know what you think of INFJs. And any type, whatever you think about either type or your own type, I am open to hear, hearing about it. Right now, I don't get a lot of comments, so I can respond to pretty much all of them. Sometimes I don't get to some comments is because I it just it, it's it's mostly for my mental health. I can't be always reading every single thing, but uh, if you get if you comment early, I, I'm more than likely going to look at it and read it and respond to it. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. See you.